Hello Rockers and Mercuryans, Rock Mercury here. Welcome to the Rock Mercury Podcast. I have a green shake I'm going to be drinking today. It's from this morning. It's like a protein, greens, kale, and all kind of healthy stuff in here. Um, I'm going to shake it up real good. I'm just going to drink this after the gym. Just getting back from the gym right now. Ooh, I'm wearing white. I'm wearing white shorts. Ooh, not, not white. I'm wearing white pants from my brand. These are um, Mark, Mark Rock Mercury brand. Uh, as you see right here, my logo, Rock Mercury. My, that's my logo right there. Um, so I am going to try my best not to get this green juice on my pants that's the main goal right now that is the main goal but let's go ahead and open it up and let's chat about some stuff got a few things to chat about today um one of the things i want to talk about is the situation online that's going on if you guys are follow youtube dramas um Mm. I've been catching this drama that's going on with Hollywood Unlocked, Jason Lee, and Armand Wiggins. Who, I don't really watch Armand Wiggins. I don't even know about him from Hollywood Unlocked. And when I first heard about the drama, it was from Hollywood Unlocked's point of view. Hollywood Unlocked is very relevant when it comes to pop culture. Like, he's in, like they're involved with every celebrity, basically, and reporting on the situations that happen in Hollywood. And even though a lot of people think like, oh, that's crazy. Nobody cares about Hollywood. Nobody cares about pop culture. We have to care about it. It's all that really makes the world move when it comes to the social climate. It's super important. And that's one of the blogs that comment the most and are involved in a lot of the dramas. Even that recent drama with Madonna and Cardi B when they had some fight or some um, random subbing, they subbed each other, and it was like some drama, but Hollywood Unlocked was involved in resolving that, um, apparently, Armand Wiggins, who was another blogger, um, he had a falling out with Jason Lee, now, I used to work with Jason Lee for Bigo on Bigo um, Bigo Live, and it was, Beagle Live was pretty sketchy. Like, I think they used a lot of bot numbers. It wasn't very real on there. But I was part of that family on there, and I thought that it was going to be a beneficial thing, and we are going to make a lot of money and all that. I broke my behind off on Beagle and made, like, hardly any money. I don't, like, really, no, like, no money hardly. Like, it was really a struggle on there. And so that's why I'm here on TikTok, because at least on TikTok, you get real people. Um... Yusuf says, is your content about diet? Um, obviously not. If you're listening to what I'm saying right now, I'm not talking anything about diet. I'm talking about Hollywood drama. Um, Mad Knack, Maddie Knack says, that drink looks so good. Yeah, it's very good. It's very good. But, I mean, I do talk about food sometimes, but that's not like all I talk about. I talk about all kind of stuff. Um, I just got back from the gym, so I'm just trying to fuel up, have some green, fresh greens and... I think there's some protein in here too. My eyes are so red because I was in the sauna. I was in the, the, the wet sauna, then the dry sauna after I worked out and after I listened to um, after I listened to the Candace Owens show. Hold on. Let me block this troll real quick. Blocking the troll. Let me block them and get them out of my room. Perfect. Goodbye. Um, so... Yeah, like after work, after my workout session, I was like, let me go spa it out, sauna, spa. I could have went to the hot tub too, but I don't know. I might do that in the future. I go sit in the hot tub as well for a little bit. Because there's an inside hot tub and an outside hot tub. It's very, it's a really good, it's a really good um, resort style gym, you know. So I love going there. Every day I look forward to going to the gym. That's really the only thing I do <laughs> when I leave the house. I work. I work at home because I own companies, but when I want to go out and get my relaxation every day, hit the gym, spa it out. 
Um, so that's why my eyes are red because I I was in the I was in the sauna for a long time. Um, Maddie said Maddie said that drinks look so good. It's it's pretty it's pretty nice. Like it's simple, very light. Um, Bracken Hun says, "What you sipping on?" I'm sipping sipping on a green shake. My sister made me this morning. Um, Rico says, "You you not bro? They just mad cause they weird." And you chilling. Yeah, I'm just living my life. Living my best life. Richer than they are. Better than they are. I'm doing, doing great. Um, Shanae Woodbeck. Or Shauna Woodbeck. Says hi from Minnesota. What's up, Minnesota? Um, Bracken Hun says, what's the ingredients? Um, there's like some fruit in here. Like blended berries. Strawberries. Um, kale. Um, I think some carcarella in here, I think. I don't know, some um vegan protein powder. My sis my sister made it. I didn't I didn't watch her, but she told me what was in here and I forgot most of it. But it's it's really like it's nice and light. We go step one hundred. Mm hmm Um what's the name says Houston. Hey, Houston H Town going down. So anyway, this drama is going on with this guy named Jason Lee from Hollywood Unlocked Locked and Armand Wiggins. And I think the main point, like, I don't, I, I can, you guys can look it up if you want to see deeper into why their drama is happening. Because they used to be cool with each other and they would even host each other's, well, Armand Wiggins would co-host um, Jason Lee's show. But basically, it's just like he's, Armand is calling Jason out for being fake Hollywood. And I'm like, that is Hollywood. Hollywood is fake AF. Like, what else do you expect from from him? Like, that's in Jason's character. Like, he's going to play the game. Like, he's very clear that he's going to play the game. And even when I was working with Jason Lee, like, he was rude AF. He's, you know, he's just... But he's also, like... But he's also, like, a caring person, too. But everybody has multi multiple dynamics to each other. And I just feel like this whole drama is... Just some petty trash situation that nobody's gonna win in and nobody's really gonna even lose in it either. It's just more drama, you know. Um, but I found it very interesting that Jason Hutt was trying to help this person and support them in getting their own show at iHeartRadio and um and boost them on YouTube and just support their career. But the entitlement that people have, people have so much entitlement to when something should get done for them and when, like, if somebody's a hater to them or whatever. I'm like, a real hater is never going to help you at all. They're going to be indifferent to you. They're, they're going to be like, forget you. Like, if this per if a person supported you in any way, they can't be a full hater, you know? They can't, it's, you kind of have to realize that, like, humans are going to be fickle. They're going to, like, go in and out of emotion at times. Um, but to throw the whole blessing away because of there may be some jealousy within that relation within that situation. I don't know. I just found it very. I found it like very the pot caught in the kettle black. So you guys can look up the situation. Like even though I feel like Jason Lee has has been kind of shady towards me. Even um, I got commented on his page like last week about. The Kanye situation and said and how Kanye parted ways for a while. Jason Lee was over Kanye's media; he was over the entire um, media division, and um, he called himself the voice of Kanye or something like that, according to Kanye or Ye. Um, and I mentioned that I felt that Jason Lee was flip flopping and not standing by Kanye in this time of need the most. And pretending as if he didn't get fired when I believe he got fired from working with Jason from from Kanye from working with Kanye, um, and he like he commented back like this hot kissy face to me because he knows like we we know each other he knows me he knew me for a long time, um, and he wanted me to do make him videos. What kind of videos? I'll leave that up to your imagination. I can't talk about those on YouTube on TikTok. But let's say he's he's requested that I make him videos. <laughs> um, and no shade, like that's my industry. I'm not like dissing him for that and being like, oh, he's weird for asking that. Like whatever, people ask me stuff all the time. I don't care. That's not that's not the, that's not the situation. But 
I just feel like that's just his personality. He's a little shady, a little petty, you know? And I, I like that about him. Honestly, I, I do like Jason Lee. Like, I know that there is some drama, and I do like Tasha K, which is kind of very conflicting at times. If you know about Tasha K, then Tasha K is the one that got sued by Cardi B for $4 million for defamation. Cardi B is really close friends with Jason Lee. It's just all this big drama circle going around. Um, but I love Tasha K. I will, will always watch Tasha K and support her because I think she's one of the best YouTubers on YouTube or the best. I'm trying to think of who's better than Tasha K. Mm. I don't think anybody's better than Tasha K. No, she really brings it. Tasha K is like the most entertaining YouTuber to me. Like, she, I'm laughing just thinking about her. Like, she's... She brings the drama. She really researches her topics. Even when she's wrong, it's fun, wrong is funny. But just something about her that's like, I gotta watch her. I've been blessed enough to be on her show one time. She had she had me on, and I called in. Um, she encouraged my career, and she was very kind to me. I'm cool with her. Like, she's reposted my tweets. Um, I love Tasha K. Like, but I also I did work with Jason Lee, so. He was saying how, like, Jason Lee would try to make it, like, a, you have to pick a side. You can't be on both sides. And very, like, kind of gang culture, Hollywood gang culture and stuff. And just, like, just playing the game. He's calling him out for playing the same game that he's playing. And I look at it all, and I'm just like, are we over this yet? Are we over, like, pretending as if we're all now playing the same game? Selectively choosing dramas to exaggerate 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 I guess um for our favor like I don't know there's gotta be more to this there's gotta be more there's gotta be more art I feel like art has been suffering in this world of drama like drama has has been drowning out art um Shauna Shauna says 60 degrees here but the shows, but the snow's coming. Oh my gosh, not 60 degrees. Um, out here it is. Let's check. Let me see what the Houston weather is right now. Um, Houston weather. What are we doing right now? What is the weather? Ooh, I think it's saying that we are. Oh, we're at 60 degrees. We're at 60 degrees too. You said the snow's coming here. Wait, Shauna, did you say? Oh, you're in Minnesota. They said the snow's coming to Texas as well. So, um, Arizona Sunshine says, Hi, Mercury. Good to see you. Hope you are well. Arizona Sunshine, I'm doing really great. Good to see you again. Thank you for coming through. Um, I'm feeling great. I'm just talking about some little little drama that I happen to catch to catch on now. I will note that I have not finished our um, Armand Wiggins um, video about calling out Jason Lee and putting receipts out and voice memos and all this stuff. It really seems like high school. High school drama. Like, I feel like Armand may have shot himself in the foot by um, by stroking his ego a little too much in this situation. Um, and so, I don't know. I just, I just, it's hard to call somebody a hater when they're literally helping your career. Um, and he's like, well, he stole from my career, but like, but he's also supporting you and putting you in rooms that you never would have been in. So I don't know. It's just uh, Hollywood is fake. We know that you wouldn't go to Hollywood unless you want to be fake. You know, I got tired of being fake and phony. And so that's why I'm out here in Houston living my best life. I get to be real with real people. People out here are just living their life. They're not in this drama. They're not in this. Oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, what are you? Oh my gosh! How can I use you? How can I use you? Oh my gosh! I can use you that way. Mm -mm. People here seem to just live their life, doing whatever their career is. Talk um, and just go on with their day to day life, like focus on their family, finding good food. It's beautiful out here. Um, I mean, I still have my house in LA, like I've talked about, but if I don't see that house for another two years, I'm fine. <laughs> as long as I'm making money off of it, I'm good. Um, I'm just like, 
I don't even want to be where I'm at right now. Like, I, I think I'll, I'll go to New York because my best friend's there, so I'll go there again. But I'm very, I feel very balanced where I'm at. And I've been here before. I, I graduated high school here, so. But I'm born and raised in Los Angeles. But as I hear this drama, because these people aren't even from, well, no. He's, Jason Lee is from Oakland or something. Not Oakland, but, um. He's like from North, from the Bay Area. He's from the from the Bay Area in California, which is not like like Los Angeles. It's a very different vibe there, but it's still near Los Los Angeles, a few hours away. I've been there a few times. Through the years, not too many times because it's kind of boring up there, but I've been there. Um, so I just I don't know. It is. Reminds me of the wickedness that is <laughs> the media world and how you really can't trust anybody in that world, but it is so important. And you can pretend as if it's not important and act like nobody cares about these celebrities, nobody cares. Da, da, da. People do care and they do affect the economy. They affect the economy and, and the behavior of our society. You know, this is what people talk about the barbershop or the hair salon, whatever. Like, it's real like these dramas matter and these blogs are very powerful they paint the narrative for people to um believe people people don't even have time to design their own narrative they're just reading a story for distraction so these blogs paint the picture of what's going on in a way that you just basically adopt it you're like oh i guess i can go with that i believe that people are reading the the headline people can't even hardly read in the first place and so they're just reading the headline if they can't even read that. Or hearing the intention of the voice of the blogger or vlogger or YouTuber who's reporting on a situation. So, um, slide one says, yo, what's your sexuality? Uh, my sexuality, I am billionaire actual. I am bill sex, bill ex, bill actual. You know, I'm only sexually attracted to billionaires so that is my sexuality uh, michelle says why does his sexuality matter um unless they're a billionaire it shouldn't matter slide one and if you're not a billionaire then you should not be caring what my sexuality is uh, um baby boy says looks like a 100 I'm sweating, boy. Looks like a hundred. I sweat. What in the world? Can you can you write correctly, baby boy? What are you trying to say? What are you talking about? Are you talking about my luxurious shea butter and lavender oil um, and and um, lavender oil oil infused shea butter that I have on my face and my body because I just got out of the shower. And I'm glowing, and you look dusty, and you're wherever you are. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, the Godfather says, you're doing good. You're totally right. That's sad people wanting to use other people. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... But it's it's Hollywood. It's Hollywood. Like, you... It's, it's just the industry. It's the fakest place on earth. You know, so many people I thought were friends out there. This transactionary, transactionary people, relationship that wouldn't even come to your funeral. Um, <laughs> and that's most of the relationships, relationships you have out there. And they'll sell you out quick in a hurry um, for their own favor, for their own good. It's just how it is. I'm just so used to it. Like, that's probably why I'm so numb to everything. Like, I'm just, I'm just so jaded. But when I come to a place like Houston, where it's just like people are so real. And when you're real, life gets pretty boring when you're real. In a good way. A good kind of boring. Like, there's not that much drama when you're just living your life. Like, things happen. Like, some tragedies happen. You have to handle those. But the day-to-day -day life, you know, you're worried about, you're worrying about what you're going to eat for dinner. You know, you're thinking about what you might want to watch on TV and ch when you chill after you get home. You know, for me, I'm always busy. I never, ooh, look at the music. That was cool. Thank you for that. Thank you for that gift. I love the music. Uh, music's my favorite thing in the world. 
Um, but for me, I'm always busy. I always have something to do in my companies, but the environment's so relaxed that I feel balanced as I'm working towards my goals. I still feel like at peace and I can just be, you know. Thank you, P3 Luches. Amazing. Thank you for the roses. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. A lot of roses. Thank you. Thank you. Um, keep keeping up what says why you keep being on my for you page because you're obsessed with me keeping up what that's the username because you're obsessed with me and that's why i'm on your for you page because tiktok knows you love me and so here i am to bless you again um but you're disrespectful you should be saying thank you for being on your fyp page your for you page disrespect of rock mercury will get you nowhere um, with the business says WHF. What does that stand for? What does WHF stand for? I don't know. Alex Merker, Merker Prototype says Elon Musk bought Twitter. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, this is a very happy day. I should have started this whole episode of the podcast off with Elon Musk has saved Twitter from itself has liberated Twitter, and I hope that it really is what he claims it's going to be. Um, I do know there's certain rules when it comes to being available on the app stores, including Google App Store, Amazon App Store, um, Apple App Store, all those stores. Like you, There's certain things you can't allow to be on the platform for the app itself to be... Um, eligible to be a public on those on those marketplaces um but apparently you can still put adult content on twitter so <laughs> i don't know i don't know what it, what it is anymore when it comes to what the rules are but i definitely enjoy some adult content on twitter for sure and post it and so i know that you can do it from your phone <laughs> so i'm like wait what kind of rules? But there's certain things you can't say. There's things you can't really say that's like against the rules, I guess. So, mm. um, retro space good space says, "Is your room hot as heck from the lights?" No, my room is perfect temperature. It's be- beautiful right now. What you're seeing is luxurious shea butter infused with lavender oil, essential oil, organic. And you're seeing this glazed on my face after a luxurious shower at my spa gym. Um, That's what you're seeing right now. That's not sweat. It's luxury, um, hydration, and moisture. Dusty people would never know what that is. You know, you know, a lot of people just know all they know is labor. They just work, 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 night and day. Um, I work too, but my work is on the computer. I work smart, not hard. Um, So, um, but I'm really excited for Elon Musk. Congratulations to him. I'm very thankful that he went through with the purchase. I know for a while he wasn't going to do it because of all the bots that were plaguing Twitter, which probably still are plaguing Twitter. Twitter is a really weird app. The traffic is like very fickle. You never know. You have some posts that get zero likes or zero retweets. The next one gets thousands of likes and retweets or whatever. Like it's, it's bizarre. Such a bizarre app. Um, Kumbana, Kumba, and Kumba and Frodo says too many greasy foods. What are you talking about? Too many greasy foods in Texas, or what are you? What are you talking about? Who's this person? Um, you don't even. Who is this person? What are they talking about? Okay, you. I think they're asking questions. As I go further, um, they almost got blocked. Cause I was like, "Are they trying to? Are they trying to read me?" You're trying to sleep on me overnight? I'm the mother effing boss overbite. And when I pull up, room motorbike. I'm the bitch that's getting bucked overbite. I see them dusty ass Levi's, Levi's, Raggedy Ann, Hosey and Levi's. I call the shots. Now do you see why? DP's calling me Branding Eli. Q 
Q Simba says, I feel like I saw you on the new Dahmer series. Am I tripping? Yes, you did see me on there. That was me. That was me watching Dahmer's building get blown up. Um, that was me. That CGI was, the CGI in that scene was a little questionable. <laughs> Shout out to Ryan Murphy, I love him. But um yeah, that CGI was a little questionable, I would have to say. Maybe I think my TV just might be too good. Like we have a really high definition TV. So maybe that's why I'm like when I saw that scene, I'm like, that doesn't mm. <laughs> I was like a I was like, that did not look like a wrecking ball. Like, I don't see Miley Cyrus on that wrecking ball trying to come and blow... I don't know about that. Th that whole wrecking ball scene. I don't know. Uh, but whatever. I was in it. I got paid. I'm happy. Um, Kumbana says, you don't even know, LOL. I don't even know what. What are you talking about? P uh, P3... Became the top viewer to sent me a music note and 15 roses. I really appreciate that. And also a TikTok. Thank you. Um, and B says, what's your zodiac sign? I get asked this almost every live. I am a Scorpio. My birthday is coming up in... How many weeks is it going to be? My birthday is coming up in... One... Two... In three weeks. My birthday will be here in three weeks. Um, but I don't care about my, about my birthday. In fact, I requested my family ignore that my birthday is happening. Because I don't even want to. And I don't want to even go through the cringe of having to answer phone calls. Happy birthday. Oh my God. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. You hear people singing off key. I get, I'm thankful, I'm thankful for life. I'm not being unappreciative. I'm thankful, it's great, whatever. But it's stressful. Like, I already get so many calls every day for work because of my companies. And I'm always, like, I have my employees, I have my team. Like, there's just, I have a lot going on. And so, another day of people calling me, doing small talk about my birthday, makes me want to, makes me want to, like, it just, it makes me nauseous to even think about having to do that which is usually why i turn my phone off on my birthday or at least i put it on like no non-disturb because i just don't want to make i don't want to deal with those phone calls i don't i'll take the voicemails and i'll text them after and say thank you for the voicemail but um i'm just i don't know i just like, that sounds so stressful. Why should I be stressed on this day that I'm born or whatever? Like, I don't want to be stressed. I don't want more phone calls. Anybody who I want to talk to, I talk to them already. I talk to my best friends every day. They call, almost every day, they call me. My dad calls me almost every day. Love that. I talk to my mom every day because she's, like, she's here in Texas. Um, and... My sister I talk to every day. I get to hang out with her all the time because I, I, like, help with my nephew. Like, I, I talk to who I want to talk to. My grandmother, like, we talk all the time. So, I just, like, they know my life. They know what's going on every day. Like, I don't want to, oh, what's going on with you? How are things going? How's this? I'm like, I literally have a vlog. I go on live every day. And so for people to pretend as if they don't watch my live or if they don't, if they really don't watch my live and then they're asking me what, how my life is going, like, I can't, I can't, that's too stressful. Not like, not like in a way like I'm nervous about it, but just like, really? Like I'm supposed to go recap my life for my own birthday? I'm turning my phone on, do not disturb. <laughs> I'll deal with everything else. I'll just text people later on and be like... Thanks for your call. By the way, if you have anybody who needs any real estate needs or marketing needs, check out my companies, uh, Digital Estate or Slay Real Estate. Um, check out, you know, send them my ways. I'm going to turn those birthday calls into new leads for new money and new business. Y'all want to call me and talk about the weather or how, how am I doing, whatever. I am doing, I'm doing business. That's what I'm doing. That's how I'm doing. I'm doing business. So that's what I'm going to do.
<laughs> no shade, no tea. I'm thinking, I know people have good intentions. I'm not dissing people because it's beautiful to have somebody. Like, people call me a lot on my birthday. People, people I haven't talked to in years or months or whatever. Years mostly. But um, it's too stressful. Um, Dub Sosa says, man gang, man gang, you don't need no more MF and oil, god dang. Who the heck are you talking to? Talking about, I don't need no more oil, I need whatever I want to have. Just because you can't afford the oil that's on my face? And this is shea butter? Just because you can't afford it doesn't mean you can tell me what I don't and, don't and do and don't need. Worry about the dust on your upper lip. Before you come to me talking about the amount of shea butter on my face. Worry about that dust and clean that dust off. You may need a swiffer for it. But don't you ever in your life disrespect me again. I'm going to block you. Um, Al the Godfather says, Do you think Trump will, will be allowed back on Twitter? Oh, yes, I believe he would definitely be allowed on Twitter. I mean, Elon Musk already fired the person who banned him, so. He'll be, he'll be back on. And Trump is the best part of Twitter. Twitter is nothing without Trump. Twitter is like, oh, Twitter is just the most boring place on earth without Trump. And Kanye. We need Kanye and Trump back on there. I saw some article saying, that Kanye's Twitter will be heavily monitored now that Elon owns Twitter. It was like on Google, on the front of Google. I'm like, what kind of article is this? They're just trying to keep checks and balances on this black man who has freedom of thought. A powerful black man like Kanye. It's so frustrating. So, so frustrating. Um, Kumbana, Kumba says, is bread good for you? App, in my opinion, no. Now, you may be confused because you see me eat a lot of bread on my live. Um, on my page, I eat bread. I eat all kind of stuff. Um, all, mostly plant-based and vegan. Um, almost, all, almost all of that. Bread is super unhealthy because of the levels of, um, of GMO wheat and also the yeast. The yeast can create different bacteria built up in your bodies and it converts into sugar or the car like bread is just not a healthy thing in my opinion is it delicious do i love bread as much as oprah does yes absolutely um some bread is basic though but i like that buttery bread that vegan buttery bread i like ooh, all those all those like uh, ooh, let me stop because that's not healthy at all mm. cheesy bread vegan cheesy bread mm. I don't need to be eating that. That's not healthy for me. But that's my answer. It's not healthy. But do I eat it? Yeah, I do. I'm not a health guru. I'm doing the best I can. I'm an artist who happens to own companies. But I'm just living my best life. Um, Brand new news says, what are you drinking? I'm, I was drinking a green shake that my sister made me this morning. Super tasty. It was a vibe. Um, brand new news says you just did a commercial, lol. A commercial for what? <laughs> I don't even know what I've talked about. Um, OX and B says, What's your favorite zodiac sign? Um, my mom's a Taurus, and so I love my mom, she's awesome. So I'll say Taurus. Because she's a pretty iconic, my mom is. Oh, well, no, Beyonce is a Virgo. So Virgos are my favorite. Sorry, mama. But Virgo. <laughs> September 4th, Beyonce day. Um, <laughs> if my mom watches this, she's going to slap me. She'll be like, oh, how dare you choose Beyonce over me. <laughs> The first thing my mom said when I came out the closet to her, she said, but she's like, but Beyonce, but Beyonce, like, what, but Beyonce. <laughs> so funny. Um, Cause she knew I'll, I've always loved Beyonce. So she's like, 
wait, how are you LGBT, but you, like, love Beyonce? I was like, that's, and that question answers itself, but whatever, like, let her live her life. She's great. She's grown a lot over the years. I'll say that. Um, Brad Allen says, how you grow your beard? <laughs> how do you... <laughs> How do I grow my beard? I think you want to ask me, how do I maintain my beard? I can't tell you how to grow your beard. If you don't have any genes for hair growth on your face, unless you go take some steroids or something, like, you're not going to get no, you're not going to get no beard. Um, so I can't really tell you how to grow it. Like, it's just how my, my genes work. I'm thankful it does. So I'm so blessed to have a big beard. Because there's some people with some struggle beards out there that just won't grow. And that's not my situation. So I can't comment on that. But I am so thankful (laughs) that I have bearded jeans. My dad has a big beard too. So I'm very blessed. And I'm trying to keep my hair. I'm trying to hold on to my hair with all dear life. I feel like it is getting thicker, you guys. I know I'm obsessed with like not losing my hair. But it's like, I feel like it is growing back in the front. Oh my god, I really hope it is. <laughs> anyway. Excel says, hey, Mr. Smile. I don't be smiling. I hardly ever smile. Only on commercials when I get paid. I smile when I get that money. I'm like. Give me that check. Direct deposit, please. Direct deposit. <laughs> That's when I really smile. You know, send me that check. Um, C. Goodman says, why are you glowing? You just finished exercising. Yes, and I went to my spa. And then I put my shea butter on. And my light is right in front of me. And so it's making me glow. It just works out. And it's good to be on live and to be drinking my smoothie right now. Because it gives my skin time to absorb this high quality shea butter and lavender oil. I want to just like it to permeate, 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 permeate. I don't know what word I'm supposed to use for that. Whatever. I wanted to soak into my skin so that I could be deeply hydrated. I'm like these dusty people out here in these streets. So many dusties. All haters are dusties. Um. Let's see the next question. How you grow your beard? I already answered that. Like that might be oil. No, the oil doesn't grow your beard. Like that's an external thing. You're talking about internally. How do you have the genes? And I will say that what you eat does affect the health of your hair follicles. So if you're eating really bad food, some of your hair follicles could um, dry out and, and, um, and close up, you know. Or just stop functioning. So what you eat does determine the health of your hair. Whether it's on your head, on your face, on your back, on your downstairs area. um, Wherever it is. Like the health of your food affects that. Baby doll says, why are you so shiny and oily? Are you high? Ooh, how dare you baby doll. What a rude baby doll. I need to put you back in the bin. Put you back in a recycling bin. That's where you need to go, baby doll. Um, Brad Allen says, he's not looking at the message. Everyone leave. <laughs> what in the world? You're telling people to leave my life? Everyone leave? I can't. Baby doll is laughing. Um, I'm laughing at baby doll. Um, Brad Allen says, baby doll, you want to FaceTime? Yes or no? What in the world are you trying to face? You trying to link up with people on here? What in the world? Brad Allen says yes or no. Oh my gosh. B- <laughs> Bit Life says, "Do you have a kid?" No, I have a nephew. I don't have a kid. Um, I don't know if I ever will have a kid. I can't say never because I just don't know. Life is so windy. Such a winding road. I don't know if I would do that. Um, 
Baby doll says, why is that braid in the middle of your face? Because you love it. Because it makes you so happy when I have this braid in the middle of my face. It makes you like, it, it, just, it hits your buttons. And you love, you live for it. So I'll put it right there for you, baby doll. Brad Allen is adding baby doll and says, can we FaceTime? Why are you trying to FaceTime baby doll? Baby doll ain't got time for you. Um, baby doll says, Brad, I love your hair. Why do you love Brad's hair? Brad's hair isn't that great. Brad Allen says, yes or no. Oh my God, what's so? this is really weird. <laughs> really, really weird. Um, Bit Life says, take the hint, homeboy. Ooh. Bit Life is trying to call out Brad Allen. Tell him they take take the hint that a baby doll don't want none of, nothing to do with his FaceTime. Um, user Mech says, are you going to party hardy for Halloween? I'm just going to pass out snacks to the kids that come to the house. That's about it. I don't even know how many kids live in this neighborhood. But um, we have some candy and some juices that my sister got. So we're going to pass those out. I'm going to dress up as a, a hunter. Because it's simple, and I already have the outfit, so. Because I actually wear that in my regular life. <laughs> I love wearing camo, like camouflage. It's so fun to me. Brad Allen says, what hint? Dang. Brad Allen don't even know how to take a hint. Um, Bit Life says, for real, okay. Brad Allen says, we FaceTime it or no, baby doll. Baby doll don't want it. Baby doll ain't got time. Big Life says Kanye is a W though. A W? Like a winner? Kanye is a winner. But a W, I don't know what that means. Alex Merker prototype says, Do you support Kanye anti semi comments? Um, I agree with everything he said. And I don't think that he I think he was his words were taken out of context. Um, and I feel like everything he said was proven true by what happened afterwards and how everybody tried to cut ties and shun him and create this narrative around him. It shows you exactly what he said. It was true. So I think it was the most expensive public art that ever existed. So, yeah, I do support what he said. And I agree. Um, Spud Main says, did I see you in a movie? Yes, you did. I don't know which movie. I've been in a lot, I've been in a lot of movies, but yeah, you did. You saw me. Um, Big, Big Sky Kate says, were you in that show with Tim Robinson? Do you do stand-up? Um, I used to do stand-up, but I don't do that anymore. Like, it's too hard. It's not for me. I was good at it, but I don't, uh, I'm not a comedian. That's not for me. Like, I can't do that all the time. Like, what if I'm depressed? What if I'm depressed one day, then I have to go up and do stand-up? You can't just turn depression off. Are you serious? So, I don't do that anymore. Um, but a lot of, a lot of comedians are depressed. So, maybe they can do it. I don't, I don't, it's not for me. I like rapping, making music, producing music. Um, Alex Merker prototype says, I'm not seeing the other messages in that chat box. What messages? Uh, okay. Al the Godfather says, I thought you'd adopt a child. Um, I'm not against that. I'm not against that. I think if I was to adopt, I probably would just like take care of 18 year olds or something like they, they still need homes they still need families so many people age out of the system and they have nowhere else to go and the only reason i say 18 year olds is because you don't have to do all that paperwork you can just help people out and support them where they're at um in their career and help them build like 18 is very young for um to be put out into the world and so i would just do more of like a mentorship and give them job that they love to do like I would like I'd like take in 18 and older people who are or still but still young people who are artists who 
you know, don't have anyone. Like, they've been kicked out of their family or whatever. I don't know. It depends. That's what I would probably do. Like, I don't know if I would get, like, a new kid and go through that whole process. There's a huge process to adopt a kid. Like, it's, it is serious. And I don't know if I want to go through all that. Like, it's just such a weird situation in America. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. We'll see. Right now, I'm happy to just live my life. Like, I don't want no dog. I don't want no cat. I don't want no anything. Um, but living, like, just my music. I just want to create music every day. And work on my companies. Um, but I do kind of want, I do kind of want companionship at times. Like, it'd be nice to be in love. I'd never been in love before. Even though I was married, I'd never been in love before. And I would love to be in love. But I don't know if that's going to happen for me. We'll see. I'm not, I don't need it. It's just it'd be nice to be in love. Like, to have a real, genuine, loyal connection. You know? I never had that. Um, I thought I had that with my ex, but... My ex-husband, but that was not that. That was not love. Now I know better. Um, uh, Leah the Fleur says, Were you on TV at all? Yeah, I've been on TV a lot. A whole lot of TV. Big Sky Cade says, I'm not the only one who recognizes this dude from TV or something. We gotta figure this out together. I've been on a lot of commercials, you guys. I've been working in the industry for over 15 years. I've been on billboards, TV, movies... I don't care about any of that. I'm I'm there to get my check. Give me my money. And now I have my own companies. And now I have my own music production. And that's what I love to do. So I just don't care about the other stuff that I've done. Like, it's fine. I'm thankful for it. Thankful for all the directors I got to work with. Thankful for all the the movies. I've been on every every big studio you can think of. I've been to every studio. WB, um, Disney Studios, multiple times. Paramount. Um, but there's so many other ones, but like Radford and I don't know, there's so many, so many places. I've been, I've been to everything. It's just been, it's just work to me. When you live in LA, it's just work. I don't care about any of that. Alan DeFleur says, Big, Big K, no, that's what I just asked. Okay. Big Cade, Big Sky Cade says, I know I was responding to you. He said he's not looking at these comments though. I'm reading every comment. Um, Alan the Fleur says I just realized that. I think it was a movie. Yeah, I've been in movies too. Um, Big Sky says I feel like I saw him in a comedy for some reason. Yeah, I've been in comedies. I don't know which one you're talking about. Um, moderate moderation patrol says is his comments delayed? No, they're not delayed. I'm just taking my time to read them because why should I rush through them? I'm reading each comment and talking about what I want to talk about. Um, Big Sky K says, I think you're right. Okay. Yeah, you're probably right. Alan the Fleur says, I want to think. I want to think it was Dahmer. I think he watched the building get demolished. Yes, that was me. That was me. That's one of the things I've been in. Um, out of the hundreds I've been in. Hundreds or maybe thousands after so many years. I've been have I been in thousands of projects or hundreds? Probably hundreds. I don't know. A lot. I've worked a lot. Brittany Lake says, I like you in the bun. I'm down. I'm down with Kanye West. Yeah, I love Kanye West. Even though he has some problematic things, I really appreciate his bravery. Um, Holly Joe says, hey, Rock, how you doing? I'm doing amazing, Holly Joe. Good to see you. Hope you're still winning in your contest. Um, says Heon says, are you Aaron the prophet? Who even is that? I don't know who that is. Um, Big Sky Cade says, you're a good man. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't be single if I was a good man. <laughs> um, but thanks, I guess. Says, says Hion says, are you Aaron the biblical prophet? <laughs> oh, Rob, I can't. Roland Poppy says, how much Vaseline do you put on? I don't use any petroleum jelly. Are you serious? Petroleum jelly is like so toxic towards the, the pores. 
of your skin. Like, I'm not going to put that on my body. I use shea butter, which is a natural, like, and that type of thing. And it's so soothing and hydrating, and I love it. But I don't touch Vaseline. I don't even own any Vaseline. So, no. Holly Joe says, I got knocked down to second place, but I made it into the third round. Congratulations that you're in the third round. I'm sorry you got knocked down. That's frustrating. But you you're number one you're number one to us, Holly Joe. You're number one to us. So don't don't let it bring you down. You're still in the running. Um Big Sky Cade says, What's your actor name? Mm, I don't wanna say that on here because that's my real name. <laughs> It's my real name, and I'd rather not say that, because then I do business under my real name, too, so I'm going to skip that, but yes, I have a, I have a regular name. <laughs> Rock Mercury isn't my name, but it is the name I go by. Most people in the world know me as Rock Mercury, because I am international at this point, because I just, I promote so much. I've been in so many projects, I'm international. And my music has reached international. People in America don't really like my music that much. I've noticed, well, they listen to it, but they don't. I feel like I get more love in Europe for my music because it's more experimental. But I'm fine with it. I don't care. I'm down for whoever wants to listen to it. I like listening to it. So I'm just, I'm still learning how to produce, get better and better. But I, my music comes from my heart. It's very experimental. It's all on my website, rockmercury.com. Big Big Sky Cade says, I feel you, ha ha. <laughs> Polly Joe says, his name is Sir Philip Von Chappenhauser. Oh my God, you remember, you remember the name. Thank you for the heart faces. Um, Sezion says, what is your purpose on TikTok? Mm, I feel like I, I feel like somebody asked me that last time. I found something similar. Um, if I'm really honest with you, Gary Vaynerchuk, who Gary V, as you may know him, he's on TikTok. He kept telling me that TikTok is where I need to be. He said I need to be on here all the time and post as much as I can because it's gonna make me famous or something. Um, as my own brand, like I'm already, I'm already well known because I've done so many shows or whatever or so many projects. But if you want to have your own personal brand, then you, TikTok is a way to get uh, like genuine. Um, organic traffic and so ever since you told me that I've been on TikTok every day posting all the time um, and I just share my life like originally I got on I got on the social media as Rock Mercury as therapy you know in order to just share express myself but that's not the healthiest way to do TikTok because if you go as therapy then you're going to say some stuff that's going to get you banned <laughs> because you're being too raw like it's like they don't want rawness on here they really are very specific about what you can and can't say on these apps especially tiktok and so now i still keep an aspect of therapy in my lives and on my purpose of being here but i'm also here to provide a service of conversation and also like um of teaching people different things that I'm on, like, I'm on a journey to different health things, I'm on a journey, health, I'm on a journey to, um, a marketing, real estate, like, I love gaming, I love playing, like, Zelda and games, so, I'm just sharing my life, um, and I get, I have a great community of people who enjoy that, and that's, that's why I'm on TikTok, you know, do do I not recognize that it's a corrupt app? Yes, I know who's owned by. I know how corrupt this is. I'm not foolish. I definitely understand it. But it is organic traffic. And I don't really spend that much time consuming TikTok. But I'm, I do post a lot on here. Because I just know the power of the reach. People are on TikTok. They are, they are like, active on here. People are really active. Um... More than any other app I've seen in the current time, new generation is obsessed with TikTok. They can't go anywhere without being on it. And so if I want to reach the masses, TikTok is the way. So here I am. But I'm not gonna be fake and phony and make it hard for me to go live. If I had to if I went on here and had an agenda every time, 
and I'll have to like think about it and make sure I come off a certain way. But I'm a real, I'm a real person, you know. I, I don't, and I don't care what anybody thinks. And so I just literally come on live and talk about what I want to talk about. And I know that no matter what I say, it's still content, and it could shift my life, whether today or tomorrow or in a few years or I don't know. But I'm just I keep it really real. Um, let's see, I'm, I'm getting so sleepy, you guys. Oh my god, it's twelve oh seven. That's why I'm sleepy. I'm ready to go to bed. I feel like the oil has like put me to sleep because I put lavender, real organic. Lavender essential oil in my shea butter, and I feel like I'm just going right to sleep. I'm ready to go to sleep. Um, let me read the last comments, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Um, get some air, bro. I literally get air every day. I go out to the to my lake, the lake I live on. So what are you talking about? I get plenty of air. Um, Holly Joe says, breathing, breathing perk says, why don't you wash your socks? Exactly. <laughs> wash, he needs to wash his socks. Says he on, says King Charlemagne. Who's King Charlemagne? Don't call me Charlemagne the God because I do not support him. He's over here. R wording women. Allegedly. I'm not for that at all. Like, his victims have come out and spoke about what he's done to them. I don't want any part of Charlemagne. Um, yeah, I'm good on him. There was a point where I thought he was hot for a second, but then I was like, mm, I don't know, he's kind of shady. Especially after what he's done to Kanye and just being so flip-floppy with Kanye. I'm good. Um, Big Sky Cade says, Raw, Volume 3, um... Hung and raw. Um, well, it looks like he found something. Um, bleeding perk says, Holly Joe, because I buy him. You buy what? Big Sky Kate says, I'm going to figure out your real name. Okay, I don't really care. I'm not going to say it on here, though. Even if you do figure it out, I'm not going to say it. Like, are you serious? Not a big deal. Queen Desi says, hey. Hello, Queen Desi. Says Hian says, no. All right. Um, says Hian says, Charlemagne is part. Charlemagne is part, is a descendant of the royal family in England. Oh, okay. Gotcha. As long as it's not Charlemagne the God, I'm good. I'll take the other Charlemagne. <laughs> um... All right, Rockets and Mercuryans, thank you for joining me today. I am going to sleep. I hope you have a wonderful night. All my people in California, it's still early for y'all. It's probably it's for 10, 10, 10 for you guys. But for me, it is mid past midnight. And I got stuff to do tomorrow. I'm going to be filming a new home tour, a new community and home tour tomorrow. So I want you guys to tune in for that once I upload it. I'm not going to go live out there because I don't think there's enough signal to go live where I'm going. But I'm going to film it and then I'll post it. When I get back, I'll post it up. You guys can see a new home tour in case you're ever considering or just curious about a new community in Houston, Texas. Like, Houston is growing. It is popping off out here. And I love it. And I feel like a lot of people would benefit from, like, being in a city like this. And I'm from Los Angeles, which is one of the most sought-after places ever. Like, people love Hollywood. Everybody goes to Hollywood. They want to make it in the neighborhood. But they can't make it in the neighborhood, and they go broke and insane. Um, So it's better to be in a great place like Houston, where you can have real structure and live your best life. So, anyway... I'm going to sleep. I'm I'm fading. I'm fading. I'm so tired. Um, rock on, Mercuryans. Hopefully, I can hear more rain tonight. You know, I love sleeping when the rain's going. But we'll see. Um, rock on, Mercuryans. Goodbye. See you tomorrow.